on Marston. Oli kolmi sormismai, oli reikä rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikkana oli Jackson Willie Town. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. Smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Siinä on perhe Riita. Kans tulossa. How you getting on? Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Hmm. Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe... We could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. If we start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, Oops. John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. He was the son of Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Right. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in... Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? <laughs> oh yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I'm being rattled around, Pa. I think just about the only things you like. Boy, can't you get look at it? You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Here. Wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh... What do I do? Well, just hold them and... Pull them short to slow down. Tell him to go faster, give him a little switch, and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Tää on aika helppoa pitäis olla. Jompaa kumpaa vaan vetämällä, puolta vetämällä, niin se hevonen tietää mihin suuntaan mennä.
that's enough. For now. Back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name. M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. <laughs> nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Toinen asi asiakas taisi nähdä. Everything okay, Pa? Tunnistaa ton nime. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pee up! Lujaa mutkaa, mutta... Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. This. Faster, please. Seuraava. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Just a bit faster now. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Why? Pull your reins in. Slow it down. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. <laughs> uh, okay. Whoa! 
Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Hmm. Ain't nada mal de culo. Stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Uh -huh. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? Uh. No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. Ah. Uh. Eyes closed. Let's go. Yeah, boy, I got this. Cut it off. Come on, get up. Why are you going oh, so slow? Now. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. This is real peaceful, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Can we get home quicker, please? Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Okay, 
Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Mainostan pääsi taas paukuttelemaan. shot at shot at what happened well we got followed and then we... followed by who uh, probably someone who knew me if we didn't get to them particulars i'm sorry my son mm. our son <laughs> it was your dress that caused all the problems it weren't even a dress it was a gift for you yeah uh -huh. Boy, boy. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Butterhood for idiots. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't Some hear any of it. Forward. Not in front of the men. Hi, fellas. Hi there. Right, smile. How you doing, boy? Smile. Do not embarrass me. Then I can't even hear the bear hooping, Kula. Mr. Mr. Geddes. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but but my family. It's uh. It's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're <laughs> such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What was that? What are you? What are you doing? My job, Bob Abigail. Boy. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Uh huh. Can I pull up? They just took on. Where's Candy's now? There's some bullets here. We got it on them. Serious now? I love my... I'll be up in a moment. Oh, he's out. They've killed Mr. Tobert. Uh -huh. They've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, uh, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. 
Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Yeah. Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right! Here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him.
that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she. Ei kiinnostunut mitä on sanottava. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh, that weren't nothing. Well. You. Oh, you. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Oh, it's a minute. Marsa Burham. What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. Does it sound like that that's excuse? What was I supposed to do? Vaimo on kyllästynyt siihen, kun aina menee asiat näin. Ei tiiys. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! <laughs> uh, there's a telegram messenger for you. Over there. In, near the house. Uh-oh. -uh. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Kuulain nopeasti etsintäkuulutukset menee vanhaksi. Excuse me, mister. <coughs> I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Yeah. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Hmm. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail.
Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Se kyllä yksin varmaan jaksa tätä työtä tehdä. Liian lännen mies. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. <laughs> Experience I think every man can relate to. No. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose... I need to get a place of my own, so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. 
Take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. <laughs> just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl <coughs> thinks she's telling anything? Yeah, huh? Enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Yeah, me. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. No, you okay. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke. Sure did. Yep. I thought that sounded like you. Whoops. And Abigail and Jack. She. She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Good <laughs> then. Maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good yeah. price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. I know. What the hell's the matter with you? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again <coughs> after you left for the Yukon. Ah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long.
fuck off. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this All right, town? see what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker, bald, 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the welcome center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. There you are. He said You uh you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump oh. on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know!
Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are you, are you married, sir? Hey, oh, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. <coughs> Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm huh. usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. No, nyt on ammatti. Eräänlainen. Tää on ilmeisesti selittää, miten tää Marstoni päätyy siihen tilanteeseen, missä se on niin ekan, ekan pelin alussa. Siihen on jotain mitä kahdeksan vuotta. Help a blind man. Here. Embrace those who love you, not the memory of those who pretended to. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Okay, Missy. Morning. 
En mä tainnut ensiksi käydä leikkuuttamassa itseni kuminen pankkiin. Ja uudet vaatteetkin vois olla ihan hyviä edes. Hello, good to have you. Let me have a look. Could we please get this over and done with? What a tempo cool. I suppose that's done then. Don't use this for liquor, okay. all right? You gotta take it. You gotta use something. Thanks, partner. I'm all alone, mister. I'm gonna die all alone with nothing. Nothing to show. Behind you, partner. Hello. Hello. <coughs> well, hey. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But... <laughs> I will get there. That okay. is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm. On account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? 
Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. Mm. Ja näin Marstonista tuli pankin orja. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently. They'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. 